As a startup, you have to be able to move fast and iterate quickly. That's what we're trying to do and that's why we choose the software that we do. We've made that bet with Eltium and Eltium 365, knowing that it is a robust tool, that it's a scalable tool and that we can continue adding users as we expand and having all of that data accessible to them as we move forward. We're currently getting the robots out to the shed so that we can line them all up ready for operating one of our missions. Farmers globally are facing a number of really pressing challenges. Muddy Machines was founded to help try and solve the labour challenges, but in a sustainable way. Do you know, I don't think we realise just what a complicated job it is harvesting asparagus. Things that we just do naturally when we go to harvest asparagus, we have to programme into a robot. But once we've got that right, it's there, it's locked in and it'll keep going. Sprout is an electric robot designed for selective harvesting and precision applications, helping growers grow more with less. The biggest challenges of the, the electronic systems we have here at Muddy Machines are the, the number of systems. We have the number of elements that have to interact with one another and the amount of design time that it takes to get all of these correct. This takes lots of planning ahead of times and then deep technological innovation and implementation of, of circuits to accommodate this. Well, Software, it's really easy to iterate, build new versions and push it out. A hardware iteration can be two, three, four weeks. Having the right tools in place allows us to kind of integrate mechanics, electronics and software and reduce the iterative cycle time to get new products, new technologies, new ideas out into the field and tested as quickly as possible. The Launchpad program for us allowed us access to the LTM software at a price point that we were able to engage with it. If we weren't able to do that, like we're a pre-revenue company. So having access to like a world-leading ECAD program has paid dividends. All of our designs are done with an Altium designer, with the Altium 365 uh, supporting all of that, from sort of the PCB design element all the way through to cabling design, system design, and specking off the shelf parts and systems. I've used it previously, and it was an incredibly powerful tool, but also one that's very straightforward to use for simpler designs to go from kind of very easy early stage designs through to a lot more complex multi board, multi system designs as well. It allows us to work out all of our connector clearances, where we're laying everything out on the PCB, and how we're going to be able to run all of our harnesses throughout the boards. It streamlines things, it means I don't get emails 24-7 asking for various bits of information. We've got people who can access harness drawings, either to review them or either to actually make the cables, access to PCB assembly instructions that they can follow step by step, or access to our schematics if we're trying to debug an issue in the field. As a really ambitious startup, we know that we're going to grow and scale our engineering team over the next few years and making sure that we choose the right software now and don't have to spend a lot of time trying to convert everything into a new software package is really important with data continuity, reviews, making sure that everything is up to date. Having something that takes care of all of that for us through the Altium Launchpad program has been invaluable.